how to watch the Persid Meteor Shower from NASA's live stream. A live broadcast of the Meteor Shower from a camera in Huntsville will be available on NASA TV and the NASA Meteor Watch Facebook starting around 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. CT, and continuing until the early hours of August 13th. The Persid Meteor Shower is here. Persid meteors, caused by debris left behind by the comet Swift Tuttle, began streaking across the skies in late July, and will peak on August 12. The Persid meteor shower is often considered to be one of the best meteor showers of the year due to its high rates, and pleasant late summer temperatures. This year's shower peak, however, has the added bonus of dark skies courtesy of an early setting crescent moon. Combine these ideal observing conditions, and high rates, an average of 60 meteors per hour at the peak, with the fact that the best nights for viewing, August 11th to 12 and August 12th to 13, occur on a weekend, and you have a recipe for successfully viewing some celestial fireworks. When should I look? Make plans to stay up late, or wake up early the nights of August 11th to 12 and August 12th to 13. The pursts are best seen between about 2 a.m. your local time, and dawn. If those hours seem daunting, not to worry. You can go out after dark, around 9 p.m. local time, and see pursts. Just know that you won't see nearly as many as you would had you gone out during the early morning hours. How can you see the pursts if the weather doesn't cooperate where you are? A live broadcast of the meteor shower from a camera in Huntsville will be available on the NASA Meteor Watch Facebook starting around 8 p.m. CT and continuing until the early hours of August 13th. Meteor videos recorded by the NASA All Sky Fireball Network are also available each morning. Why are they called pursts? All meteors associated with one particular shower have similar orbits, and they all appear to come from the same place in the sky, called a radiant. Meteor showers take their name from the location of the radiant. The Persid radiant is in the constellation Perseus. Similarly, the Geminid meteor shower, observed each December, is named for a radiant in the constellation Gemini. How to observe Persts? If it's not cloudy, pick an observing spot away from bright lights, lay on your back, and look up. You don't need any special equipment to view the pursts, just your eyes. Meteors can generally be seen all over the sky so don't worry about looking in any particular direction. While observing this month, not all of the meteors you'll see belong to the Persid meteor shower. Some are sporadic background meteors and some are from other weak ash hours also active right now, including the Alpha Capricornids, the Southern Delta Aquarids, and the Kappa Cygnids. How can you tell if you've seen a Persid? If you see a meteor try to trace it backwards. If you end up in the constellation Perseus, there's a good chance you've seen a Persid. If finding constellations isn't your forte, then note that pursts are some of the fastest meteors you'll see. Remember to let your eyes become adjusted to the dark, it takes about 30 minutes. You'll see more meteors that way. Try to stay off of your phone too, as looking at devices with bright screens will negatively affect your night vision, and hence reduce the number of meteors you see. Happy viewing!